Here we are again, Andrew fans, with another Cool Loser Tech video. Today's segment is going to be in the best apps of the week. Please rate, comment, and subscribe as always, and don't forget to spread the word. Visit droidrain.com for your latest Android tech and news. Everything, everything about Android there. And now let's get to the best new live wallpaper of the week. And it is called Splatter. So Splatter is the live wallpaper. So if you touch in the background, you can see there's splatter marks on there. And you can set timers. When you want it to splatter, you can set the colors, you can set how big you want them to look. It looks a lot better on your phone than it would on camera. So you can see it just cleared up and I shake my phone and it clears up. And now let's get to the best apps of the week. Vocalist. Vocalist is an app for safety. It reads out your text messages incoming. You know you're not supposed to be texting and driving or talking on it. You can set your phone down, put it somewhere where you'll be able to hear it. And say, play my text messages back to on. It said it is on. So, hands free assistant that is, if you have an account with these guys, you can set it to when you turn it on. Your Bluetooth settings will all turn on. I have a little icon up there letting me know that vocalist is on. So, now I'm gonna send myself a text message. Oh, before I actually go into a text message. A lot of people complain in the feedback saying that they can't hear it. It's because your media is turned down. Let's go to volume. And you can see there my media is pretty low. I want to turn it all the way up at least so that I can hear. So now I'll go back. I'll just put it so you can see what it'll say to me. It takes a couple seconds. So you can see there, it just read my text messages out loud. I don't have to have my phone on. It can just be off like this and sitting on my car. And it will speak the text message to me. If you go to settings here, you can go to more settings. You say read incoming messages. Only read via Bluetooth. So if you have your Bluetooth, you can have it read your text message right to your Bluetooth. This is another best part of this application. SMS auto responder, which means if you have it enabled, you can auto response to them. Say... Hi, I am driving at the moment. Your text message was read to me by vocalist. That way, if you're not responding, they know you're not ignoring them. It's because you are driving, being a safe driver. And now we have notification toggle. What about those people who wish they had easier way to toggle through your settings? Just like turning on your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, data, GPS, all that stuff that you want to turn on quickly instead of going all through your settings and looking through it to find it. If you notice here that I'm running a custom ROM called Cyanogen Mod 7. And uh, it has already in stock ROM for this custom ROM all my toggles up here. Quick and easy, all I gotta do is touch it and it turns on. So I have it that quickly, just quickly, quickly, quickly. Turn my brightness up, all just like that. And this is just something like this. The only thing that's not exactly it is that it takes you to another little screen real quick and you choose it from there. But that's still quick and easy. And it's a must have for you guys. Here's your Wi Fi, Bluetooth, your brightness, orientation, flashlight, your 4G button right there, too. And you can do a whole bunch more, not just that. That's just the ones I just quickly chose. Let's go to the application itself. You see here, it says all in one. That means I want all those to be popping up in that little window like that. So single notifications, unless you want just one singly. When you click all in one, It'll bring you here and you get to choose which ones you want. You could also add custom apps, which means if you press this custom app, you can launch applications that you want to have also your notification. And look at that. Now that's the single ones are all up here. So I just toggle and it already turns it on. So you see one click of a button that way. Don't know if you guys want it that way because it's pretty long, but you saw the other way to have it. You must uncheck these if you don't want these to be up on the notification like that anymore. And all in one will, and then exit, and you'll have those same ones right there. Great application. And here we have an application called Riddle This. Riddle This is a riddle thing where it'll give you cool scenarios and what to do. Like it's tricky. It's riddles are something that you have to figure out that has a little twist to it that you have to make a good answer for it. You can click on the answer up here and it'll tell you there's actually two answers that you can do to answer that question. If you want to go to categories, it'll take you to another screen. You say, what do you want? Ancient riddles, classic riddles, easy riddles, 
and you know you have more to go to. You once you're ready, you know you already clicked on it. You want to click back, and then already go to the new riddle area. It says, "Can you name five days of the week without saying or writing Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday?" Well, it should be an easy riddle. If you want to take your time trying to figure out what it is and know your friends, whatever, can't find it. Look at the check out the answer, and the answer says the day before yesterday. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. So that's how tricky it is, and that's how riddles are. If you want to send this message to somebody, you can send it by Bluetooth, email, Facebook. You know, you can send it to any house. You can send it to SMS. And now we have full HDMI mirroring for Evo 4G. This will not work on my phone. I don't know what other phones it will work, but it's something that I would like to bring to you, Evo users' attention. HDMI mirroring. You know that your phone can only do video playback of what you recorded and maybe some movie stuff and uh, some of your photos as well. But HDMI mirroring lets you completely mirror everything you do on your phone. You can plug your HDMI in and whatever you're looking at just like this will be on the display of your TV. That's what it claims. That's what it does. A lot of people in the comments said it works real great. A lot of people still can't figure out but if you're one of those people who can figure it out, you can start to download and you can figure out the status. You can choose a portrait or landscape mode and it hopefully works for you. Driver said, listen up parents, listen up kids, all you people who are getting your licenses or permits and you want to get guaranteed pass. Here is a great teacher on your Android device. Parents who have kids are always going to get the driver's license or want to get the permit or want to educate them and know that they're going to be real good and safe drivers. Here's an application that they should have. This is an actual driver's ed.com, which is an official application from like DMV. And you can do practice tests, completed tests, flashcards, driver's manual, and other stuff. Now I'm going to tell you real quick. Practice test is to actually take a little test. Click on it and it says five questions. So five questions, 10 questions, 15 questions, and you can go all the way to 100 questions, quizzing you. Mine might have been a little bit different. I don't remember it all for when I took the test, but all I know is it's like around eight years ago since I last took it. But here is the button to take test. I already took it, and I'll just show you I completed the test, and it'll say right here, April 25th, which was last night, and you can see my score four to five. Now I'm going to tell you why I scored four out of five. I clicked on it, and it says, Always look carefully for motorcycles before you make a turn because, and it gives you multiple choice. They must have a full traffic lane. They always have the right of way at intersection or their. Are you serious? Hey, 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 you. Yeah, you. What are you doing? I'm busy. You obviously know he licks me because I'm super sweet. All right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. That was my bird mug wife. You guys haven't seen them before. And the answer for this question was, their smaller size makes them harder to see. So that is the question, and I got it right. Those are, those are right, right, right. And the one that I got wrong was this. What should you see in your rear view mirror before attempting to return to the right lane after passing a vehicle on the left? Now, though, a lot of questions are really picky and they almost sound the same, but you got to pick the right one. So that's why it's a good way to practice having this application. It says, the driver of the car I am passing. That's what I clicked. But the right answer is the front bumper of the car you are passing. Flashcards. It'll give you a little trivia saying the extra space in front of the large truck is needed for... What is it? You don't know it? Tap here to reveal the answer. The truck driver to stop the vehicle. Now you can go to next there and go to next and keep going to next. And here's the driver's manual, which means this is what you're probably going to have before you start using all of these. So driver's manual, depending on your state, where you at, you're going to find where you're going to be. Let's go. I'm in Portland, Oregon, so I'll do my Oregon. And I want to download. That will download the manual the exact one that you would get at DMV and you'll be able to read it on your phone on the go instead of having the pamphlet. I'm glad I found this and share it with you guys because it's going to be a huge help for all those people who want to pass the test or the people who couldn't. And now we have deals. Awesome application. I'm a person who likes to shop online because online is cheap. It's a good way to save gas. It's a good way to see what's good on the online market. 
and you can choose there my favorites you can choose what your most recent deals are most popular deals most popular coupons clothing you're a girly I know girlies like to shop a lot clothings apparel accessories there's gonna be a lot of things right here and if you click on them jewelry I want a jewelry it'll load some deals and you can read them from right here you can click on them and it'll if there's pictures it'll show pictures there it is this item right there costs this much and that much for shipping flip to the page green so you can know you can flip to the pages and if you want that you could share it or you know if you want it buy it so it says three out of thirty that's how items they are for the day now we'll go back check that off computer stuff electronics everything else gaming tools home and garden movies office and supplies a whole bunch of stuff so make sure you go through all of them when you click them to see what kind of other categories inside the category and now we have a car this application I'm gonna be having to find out how much money I'm spending on my car it's a cool car maintenance app which will tell you how much gas you're spending you can note things how when you can put when your next oil change will be how many miles per gallon you're getting how much you spent so far since you bought the car set your trip mileage check out your statistics if you guys remember me saying about me getting a new car I got it but it's not a new car it's an old car it's a 1980 Subaru Brat I've been looking for one of those for a while and I'm happy that I found one finally and I'm, and I'm gonna convert it into something real cool actually I can show you real quick this is what I'm what a Subaru Brat is but super customized this is what I want to turn it into. That is cool. You can't tell me that's not cool, guys. And I'll show you what it looks like right now. And here's what my Super Bat looks like right now. Has seats in the back. How cool is that? It's a really good condition, guys. I'm glad I found this car. It's I tinted the windows real dark. I didn't think they were going to turn out that dark. Mostly do the job all myself. Set painting it. So now back on track. If you scroll down here, you'll see status and trends how much a gallon costs 3.75 and since I only have one day so far I don't have any statuses or anything like that going on I'm gonna click on statistics it says total running cost $37 distance day haven't traveled purchased I purchased a car for 2500 which is a super good deal guys trust me these cars go for 4000 bucks in worse condition than what I got mine for total cost ownership so now that I spent $37 on a gallon on, on a full tank. I'm now at 2,837 fill ups. If I put in the average, I'll put them there and I'll say how many miles I went. And, and it'll calculate. I have, a, I have a 10 gallon tank and I went 200 miles. So it'll calculate how many miles I actually got to get with those. Average. There it is. And every acknowledges. So you can go to charts here as well and read what's going on there. I'm not going to go too much, but you can mess around with it. Management, you can read that and see what's going on for there. So it's a really cool application for your car people out there. And I'm going to be keeping this for a while to just to analyze things on my car. Don't let him distract you, because I know he does. You know you lick me because I'm sweet. Game time. This application I reviewed before, and I'm reviewing it again because it is the playoffs. A lot of people want to keep track of NBA playoffs. Well, here's the best one to keep track with. So we have Spurs, Memphis, Portland, my team, Dallas. We're playing against Oklahoma and Denver. So those are the three teams right now that are scheduled to be playing. And you can see, if I want to click on this, it'll take me to the standings and all the stats will be here. Now that's just showing me the scheduled ones. If I want to go to my team, I already set my team for Portland Trailblazers. And you can see here from day one all the way through, I can check any standings. If I go here, it'll load. And I can click on my team over here on this side. And it'll tell me everyone's field goals, three-pointers, everything, everything, everything. If I want to check the players, click the players up here and see how they did. Go out and check the other side of the team as well. Scroll all the way at the very end. And these are the best apps of the week right off the market. Brought to you by me, the cool loser. Hope you enjoy. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to spread the word and visit joybrain.com. Say hi to my guy. My guy. Quit, quit licking me. Hey. 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 Say bye.